Hey everybody, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new test version of Botticera, which is now working on the Steam Deck. Now, if you're not familiar with Botticera, this is a custom Linux operating system tailor-made for retro game emulation. And it's been around for several years, but this is the very first time that we've had it booting on the Steam Deck. Now, when I first heard about the Steam Deck and the fact that it had an SD card slot, I got super excited. And that's because this entire Botticera operating system can work from the SD card slot. And so this entire build that you're seeing here, including the games and the emulators and everything else, all resides on the SD card, which I just booted into from the main operating system. So you can have all your PC games or maybe some of your favorite emulators on SteamOS side and then also have a dedicated SD card that you can just pop into the Steam Deck and start playing retro games just like that. And thanks to the fact that Botticera has been around for a long time, this is really nice and polished as well. Now because this is a test version of the operating system, this isn't going to be a full tutorial. I'm just going to kind of show you real quickly how I set it up. And if you want to try to test it out yourself, I'll have a link in the video description. Anyway, without any further delay, let's jump into this. Okay, to start, what I did is I downloaded the Botticera image, then I flashed it onto an SD card using a tool called Belena Etcher. From there, all you have to do is just pop the SD card directly into the Steam Deck, and then we want to boot it into the boot menu. To do that, we're going to hold down the volume down button and then press power on. This should take you into the boot manager here, and you'll see one reference to the SD card. Go ahead and select that, and that will boot into Botticera. Now on that first boot, it's going to repartition the SD card and then also set up the file system and stuff like that. So it is going to take a while to initialize, a couple minutes at least. After that, it'll boot you into the main menu, and as you can see right here, it's already been populated with some freeware games. And the controls and sound and everything else seem to be working great. Now in order to load the games, this is what I do. I usually take a USB-C hub, and then I'll plug in a USB keyboard and mouse, and then I'll also take a portable hard drive that's already been loaded up with all of my ROMs and BIOS. Next, I'm going to plug the Steam Deck power into it so that it can charge while I'm working on it. And so now we're set. I'm going to take that little keyboard that we have, I'm going to press F1 and that's going to bring up the file manager in Botticera. And so now I can navigate through the file system as if it was just a regular computer. From here I can navigate to my hard drive and then move over my files into the Botticera SD card. So I'll start with the BIOS files and then start moving over my ROMs. And there's a whole wiki page dedicated to how to set all of this stuff up and I'll also have that linked in the video description. It's pretty comprehensive. Anyway, once we're all set up we can do things like connect to the internet, download new themes, and then change them in the user or interface settings. Now Botticera uses Emulation Station as its front end and it takes advantage of all the different themes that have been built for Emulation Station over the years. And so within here you're going to find dozens of different themes and you can tailor make it to the one you like the best. I'm going to use this one here, it's called RVGM, it's one of the best for larger screens. From there, after you've added all your games, you can navigate to each of your systems and then pull up the game list for each of those consoles. And from there you can just boot directly into the game. You can also do something called scraping which will add the media like box art and videos to just make it a lot more pretty. But yeah, that's really kind of the nuts and bolts when it comes to Botticera. It's a very simple system, but also very user friendly. And so when it comes down to it, to make a retro game system, it's one of my favorite solutions. To exit out of game, all you have to do is press select and start and you're back into the main menu. Now out of the box, the defaults for Botticera are really nice. They're going to have things like borders on the screen so that you don't see the black bars. But you can also go into the game settings within Emulation Station and also trick that out as much as you'd like. For example, if you want to remove the bezels, you could do that. Or you could adjust it to integer scaling to make sure you have pixel perfect rendering. On top of that, you can do individual settings per console or even per game. So for example, if you wanted to upgrade the resolution on one specific system, say for example Dreamcast or something like that. You could upscale all of those games to 1080p, but then you might find that one of the games doesn't work at 1080p. Then you could drop that one to 720p instead. And so those are just some of the things that you can do directly into Botticera to really customize that experience for you. And like I mentioned in the intro, one of my favorite concepts here is that you'll be able to load it all onto the SD card and it'll be independent of SteamOS. So you won't have to worry about messing up your SteamOS installation or anything else like that. Now granted, that's very hard to do just 
using something like EmuDeck anyway, but all the same, this will make it completely independent of your main operating system. Now, when it comes to performance, I only did some initial testing, but what I saw was really impressive. I was able to upscale all the systems that Botticera supports up to the screen resolution on the Steam Deck and everything looked great. For example, with PS2, I could upscale it to a 3X resolution and it still worked fine. On top of that, some of the optimizations within Botticera work really well for certain systems. In particular, 3DS and the original Xbox seem to do better on this than they would on something like Windows. And so while I didn't do a deep dive in my testing here, it looks very promising already. And everything was working great in this test image. I didn't find any bugs as I was working with it. Now I will say that Botticera doesn't have quite the robust support that something like EmuDeck has. For example, with EmuDeck you can load up Nintendo Switch games pretty easily. It is possible on Botticera, but it is quite an advanced technique. And so personally, I think of Botticera as being something focused on Wii U and below. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to do a quick showcase to show you that Botticera is now working on the Steam Deck. And like I said before, if you are willing to try out the test image, bugs and all, then go ahead and check out the link in my video description. Now, because this is a test image, I wouldn't go onto the Botticera Discord and start asking for help. But if you do find some bugs, I'm sure the developers would love to hear about that as well. Much like how it is with most of the Linux world, this is a community-driven operating system. And so the more you help with them, the better it'll get. Either way, I'm personally personally just very excited to see an SD card based operating system that I can just load up all my games on and be done. While personally I prefer something like EmuDeck because it integrates directly into my SteamOS and it can also run some of those high-end emulators really well, I think that Botticera is going to be a great solution for people who just want to have a little bit of retro gaming to go with their Steam Deck too. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. What is your favorite way of playing retro games? Would you rather play them directly in SteamOS or would something like Botticera allow you to just kind of unplug from the whole Steam thing and just kind of do your own thing? So let me know in the comments below what you think and also if you have any questions questions. As always, thank you for watching, and I have a lot more Steam Deck videos in mind, so if you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Happy gaming.